and 13, 14, and 15 are volume of a cylinder. We think of a cylinder like a can. When you're doing the area of the base, the base is going to be a circle. So the area of the base, you're going to take pi r squared to find that area of the circle. Then you take it times the height. So again, on Alex, they'll do this big, long explanation. But when it comes right down to it, there's your formula for volume of a cylinder. Pi, again, they're going to use 3.14. You have to be careful. Sometimes they give you the radius. Sometimes they give you the diameter. My line's all the way across. They gave me a diameter, and I have to take half of that to find the radius. So if we take half of 19, we get what? 9.5, right? Since we're probably using our calculator, we'll use 9.5. So 9.5 squared, and then times the height, and the height is 22. So 3.14 times 9.5 squared times 22. And again, on your calculator, you can either use the parentheses or just use the time sign, then you don't need the parentheses. Just put the time sign in between each of those. And you come up with 6234.47. 6, 6234.47, was it? Mm -hmm. And this one says, round your answer to the nearest cubic foot. In other words, it's telling you to round it off to the nearest whole number. So in this case, since there's a 4 in my 10th spot, I'm just going to leave that front part alone and say 6,234. And then, of course, I have to put my label. Since I'm doing in volume, it's going to be feet cubed. Feet to the third power. So 6,234 feet cubed. So oh, number 15, same thing. I'm going to find the volume of my cylinder. I'm going to find the area of the circle, so pi r squared times my height. Again, on this one, it says my diameter is 14 feet, which means my radius would be 7. So 3.14 times 7 squared times my height, which is 38. Forty-seven, and my label feet cubed. So you get fifty-eight forty-six point six eight. But since I have a six in my tenth spot, I ended up having to round it up to forty-seven. Did I skip one of those? Or did I only have two on here? Skip the very top one. I skipped the very top one. Yeah, I better go back and do number 13 then, huh? <laughs> it's going to yell at me. Hard to keep track when you move the board sometimes. So, same thing on this one. They gave us the diameter of 5 feet. Since our volume is pi r squared h, the radius of that would be 2.5. So 3.14 times 2.5 squared times our height, which is going to be 30. <laughs> You're faster than me. I didn't even type it in, but I'll believe you. 589 in my label. Be cubed. All righty. Got that? Yeah. 